I've seen, and I've only been at, at the college for about 10 years, is 10 years ago, most of our students that came in, they were pretty strong in mechanical skills. You know, they knew how to weld, they knew, they knew basic hydraulics, they knew those kind of things. I'm actually seeing a decline in the students with those kinds of skills. And so we find ourselves having to teach more and more of that um, in the classroom. The things that that I guess we just assume students would know, especially coming from an ag background, a little of that is is kind of starting to go away. And so we spend a little bit more time trying to teach those what we would call basic skills in, on the ag side. Understanding, you know, because some of them, especially if they They've had a tractor, and their, their only tractor was a, a CAN bus where they could just plug and play. They don't really even understand that, well, gee whiz, on some of the tractors, there's going to be an actual hydraulic component that's going to be driving this. And so they have to understand the electrical side as well as the hydraulic and mechanical side. And getting them to understand that and take that same student and get them interested in the software side. Um, because a lot of times the students will want to diverge. They want to either be more than mechanical or they want to be software. We have to try to push them together and, and say, no, wait, this is, this is all one thing. Th this thing of precision agriculture, we have to be able to understand both sides. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and that's, the, that's the thing, is finding that student that can really sit down and truly understand software and can turn a wrench. You know, those students are, are the ones that a lot of industry look at.